I had a bit of a weekend. So first I got really sick on Friday, then my computer died. I took it to the Apple store and they were like, we don't even know what's wrong with this. Like we can't imagine what could have done this. So they sent it out to another Apple store to like fix. So in summary, I don't have a computer. This is Maggie's computer. And what I'm going to show you is some stuff that I tried on Replit because <laughs> that's all I got. Um, so the, the problem, right, is as you know, in when we pair program, a lot of us have not worked with everybody, but have worked with the same few people over and over. And like, you know, there are so few women in this field that I would like to at least get to know everyone who's here and learn different work styles, etc. So the concept was you work with everyone once and then once you're through everybody, we go to the pre-existing algorithm and work again with the partners that you liked. Um, apparently full stack complains about the same thing a lot also. So as is the thesis of everyone's talk, this was harder than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> but here's some, uh, some stuff I tried. So sometimes, the, so my first version, right, we have a student object and I'm objectifying all of you. <laughs> so, so, excuse me, student array which is an object in JavaScript. So there's an object for each of us here with name, who we've worked with, and whether we're currently paired when this has started. I wrote a thing where you um, get a random element of a given array. And, ba and the idea was you, each person goes through, not goes through, chooses random um, entries of the student array until they find someone who's not currently paired and who they haven't worked with before, right? Um, so that's too long to read just now, but the thing about having randomness is it's random. So sometimes it works perfectly and everyone gets paired with everyone with no repeats. Sometimes though it never terminates. So let's see what it feels like doing right now. Oh, come on. <laughs> um. Uh. Okay, cool. So let's see how many times it'll work. I don't know what undefined is. So works twice, three times. Hey, doing pretty well. Four times. Okay, but see, now it's not terminating. So when it works, awesome, but sometimes it doesn't. So single perfect, but non-terminating tier. So let's look at some other ones I tried. Um, okay. So here's a, a version that's completely deterministic. There's no randomness. And the idea is now everyone just loops through the entire array rather than picking a random one. And so it seems like, and I, oh, I also have this way to deal with it if there's an odd number of students, which is that if the array length is odd, then you push in this thing called free agent, which I originally called awkward turtle, but I wanted to put a positive spin on it. <laughs> so if you get paired with free agent, the idea is you pick, um, you, you know, you're the third person in a pair of your choosing, or you work alone, or you work with whoever's partner didn't, you know, if your partner didn't show up that day. And this would go into rotation like everyone else so that no one person would be stuck with this all the time. It would you know, go evenly. So here's the concept. So this, um, I don't know what I'm defined as. OK, cool. So I expect this to work. 15 times and everyone should pair with everyone. So, so that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, and now it should not work. 16, cool. So now what it says is for each of us, um, sorry. 
Well, okay, I'll just, they all say the same thing. So there's no available new pair for, say, Elizabeth. Elizabeth has worked with the following people, blah, blah, blah. These are who she worked with in that order. And it says that's 15 distinct people. Yay! So that's what I was going for. Problem. Turns out <laughs> this only works when there are a power of two students. <laughs> so in conclusion, our classes should have only <laughs> 8, 16, or 32 members. And if one person drops out, you have to kick out like 15 more people <laughs> for this to work. Um, I did, there was, I, I don't know why this is. I'm going to think about it more. Um, I did try one more thing, which is like promising, but is not currently working. Um, OK, so uh, here's, here's my idea, right? So imagine taking the class, and everyone's in two lines, OK? Then everyone in this line pairs with the corresponding person in this line, right? OK, cool, so that's workshop one. <laughs> then people in the left line rotate one around and pair with the new people across from them so on, until everyone here has paired with everyone here. At this point, each of these two lines themselves break into two lines and kind of do the same process, quasi-recursively, although that's not quite the right word. So that's the idea, and it might work. In this version, um, it takes the students as an array as well as the workshop number to like know how many times to like move over or iterate and like I haven't quite gotten this up and running yet but it is another thing that I've tried. Um, I added a more complicated thing to dealing with the odd number of students because sometimes in these subarrays it will be odd but it's because like there's that free agent thing so in that case I want to pop take it off so it's like just students so you don't have like more free agents than you need um, but yeah so what I'm currently getting from this is like a syntax error so like yeah <laughs> um, I don't know oh yeah I I want to show that the mechanism for dealing with an odd number of students if it's one less than a power of two does work so Okay, so let's um, okay get rid of two people, and but then make there be an odd person. Right. Okay. Oops. Okay. Cool. So then you say odd one out is a free agent right now. Next time, um, Dana's a free agent. Next time, Claire's a free agent, and so on. So like no one person is stuck being a third wheel all the time. Now, if only this worked for all even numbers, it would also work for all odd numbers, but it doesn't, so it doesn't, the end. <laughs> So that's what I've got. <laughs>